Hello and welcome to the Curriculus. I'm the Monk and today we are going to be reviewing a game called House Flipper. Now this has been developed by Frozen District. It's currently on Game Pass and it will set you back around £25 on the console or $12 on Steam. This can be picked up very, very cheaply. This is a smaller budget game and it is a simulator game. The idea is as simple as the name. You buy yourself a house, you do it up, you sell it on for a profit. You rinse and repeat. It's as simple as chips. And this game was a lot deeper than I actually thought that it would be. Now, I was fully aware that this was a lower budget game. It's definitely no AAA rated game. There's practically no real sound in this game whatsoever, apart from a bit of background noise and stuff like that. But it does run incredibly smooth. So when you very first start off, you get these little jobs down here in your laptop. And these basically teach you how to play the game. It's a very nice little tutorial, although it's not actually made as a tutorial. These little jobs earn you some pocket change and you can use that pocket change to buy yourself a house. Now there's a number of different houses in this game available for you to buy, clean up, renovate and sell on. The whole point of the game is to basically accumulate this money to go down to the bottom of the list and buy one of those fancy looking houses. Now I've only put in around 10 to 12 hours in this game but there is a lot of content here. If you enjoy simulator games and I know there's a hell of a lot of people that out there that do enjoy simulator games, this is a fun one to add to your collection. Now, it is a little bit clunky at times. I think possibly uh, it could be the fact that, you know, it is a lower budget game, could be the fact that I'm doing it on, um, on console. And it's clearly a game that has been ported to console from PC, just the way it's a point and click sometimes. Um, and it's a little bit slow, a little bit clunky in doing so. However, everything about this game worked fine. I didn't have any crashes or, or any bugs, really. I think I got stuck on a paint pot once, and that's about it. When it comes to it being user-friendly, like I said, I do really enjoy the tutorial that it had. I actually really enjoyed the little kind of um, little pocket money quests that kind of pop up. I really enjoyed those. I thought it was a lot of fun to kind of learn the different mechanics. And every time I thought I understood all the mechanics, a new one popped up and I was a little bit surprised that you could, you know, kind of do it. I do wish there was a little bit more story and a little more, bit more interaction from the game with you in the in it, but it is what it is when you deal with lower budget games. However, this is a game that is a long game and I really enjoy the amount of content that you get for your money. I think anywhere between 10 to 25 pound for a game that you can put a ton of hours into is excellent value for money. Now, simulated games aren't typically my cup of tea. However, a few of them have popped up on Game Pass recently, and I think I'm going to give them a go and see what, see what they're like. Um, but this game, I was pleasantly surprised with. I liked all the different mechanics in the game, even hoovering up these cockroaches. I wasn't expecting to be able to do that. I thought I'd have to like call somebody in, maybe, vacate the property for a couple of days, that kind of deal. The fact that I could take care of it myself then and then, I appreciated. Now, what I was most surprised about within a game is the fact that there was a leveling system. So as you progress through the game and you complete certain tasks, like, for instance, painting, you will earn experience points for painting. Once you get enough experience points, you can then spend them to kind of upgrade your skill. And there's a number of different skills that you can kind of spec in, as you can see painting right here. It just enables you to do things a little bit faster, a little bit more easily, um, you know, time-saving upgrades. I really like the whole perk system thing, and it never really felt too much of a grind to get the next perk. And you only really needed a couple of perks in each thing that you were able to actually go in. As you can see, handyman being one, building being another, um, even there was one for negotiations when it comes to selling properties or setting prices and stuff like that. I just think that it was a nice little touch. It didn't need to be in the game, but I was glad that it was there because it was kind of giving you something to kind of work towards. 
And again, another thing that I didn't necessarily expect to be in here was the fact that you personally had to assemble, you know, the new gizmos and gasmos that you put inside your house. As you can see right now, I am assembling myself a radiator. Now, I can't do that in real life, but apparently I can do it inside a game. So I'm quite happy that those little things are there. It's a very, very simple task, point and click, and that's about it. I think it would be a lot quicker process if this was done on a PC rather than a console but again it's just a little feature that i actually enjoyed having here and once you have finished renovating your house it is time to sell on now as you can see on the left hand side of the screen i've got a number of little icons faces these are potential bidders now the more you tick their boxes the more likely they are to bid higher when at auction which i really really enjoyed i like the whole auction thing i like the fact that you can actually watch uh, the bids roll in and it will tell you what it is they liked about the house and of course what it is they don't like about the house all this little feedback is really really cool something to pay attention to the more boxes you tick the more money you make overall so again another little feature that i really enjoyed now this isn't the greatest game out there by any means but it is a solid game it's one that i really enjoyed and i'm looking forward to picking up my next simulator game because of it and I'm going to give this game a strong 6.5 out of 10. Like I said, I think that it's lacking a little bit of story and the sound quality is a little bit lackluster as well. It doesn't necessarily look the best, but, you know, these are things that you kind of expect with smaller budget games anyway. However, that is my review, 6.5. I would recommend picking this game up if you enjoy simulator games. And if you've enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and comment your thoughts down below. Is this a game that you have played? Is it one that you intend to pick up? And do you like simulator games in general? Like I said, I know a few friends that do actually quite like these type of games and not my cup of tea personally, but I wonder just how many of you there are out there. And if you stuck along to the very end of the review, a big thank you to you. Don't forget to comment Red Banana down below. Just confuse all those people new to the channel or that didn't watch to the end. But until next time, I've been a monk, we've been a quizzically clueless, and I will see you in the next video real soon. Until then, take it easy, and of course, happy gaming.